Hey, Ricky, you there? I'm, uh, I'm gonna be gone for a while. I'm gonna need you to cover for me. Skiz is gonna wonder why I'm not out on marsh duty or whatever the hell. Hey, Deke. What's up? Boozer's, uh, hell. He's, he's depressed or something. Talk to Addy. I think I know a way to cheer him up. So, what are you gonna do? Uh, I thought I'd maybe head to O'Leary Mountain, get his bike, bring it back. That's a long way to go on foot. Let's figure something out. Are, are you gonna cover for me or what? Yeah. Down you go! Anyway, I was saying. Thanks, Ricky. Deacon out. There we go. O'Brien, I'm at one of your beacons, the one near Camp Creek. Uh, there's nothing here. Hold on. Uh, okay. A field op should be there any minute. You know the drill. O'Brien out. Yeah, I know the drill. Try not to get my ass shot off while being your goddamn peeping Tom. St. John out. This is O'Brien. Are you there? Yeah, so what was that all about? I mean, last time we talked, it sounded like you were pissing your hazmat suit. It's nothing. Like I told you, there are people above me who don't want us to know what's going on. I got too close. I almost got caught. You know what? I don't give okay, a shit. All I want from you is information on Sarah. Whitaker, I've got someone working on it. It's... it's gonna take time. I guess you have to be patient. Yeah? <laughs> well, not like I got a lot of choice here, do I? This research group isn't part of my unit, so I can't track them after this op. I need you to... Place a tracker on my shot. Oh, and you want me to spy on the guy wearing the white space suit? Yeah, anything else? Yeah, I'm trying to take your ass shot off. Your, uh, Tom was still open before. I don't think it is more like me to be big Tom with more like opposition research. I'm running out. I don't know what you need for all the time. That's what I'm sure you're just going to have. Oh, there you go. Oh, you know, a bunch of tennis soldiers marching in the road. Jesus. Right. Oh, that's right. Subject exhibiting the morphology of stage two infection. Tendons in the hands and fingers are less constricted, fingernails less claw-like, as if recently chewed. Additionally, the subject is wearing jewelry and clothing less tattered and worn than... Hey, sorry. Couldn't help overhearing. Ah, the gun-toting biology major. Yeah, something like that. So, it's wearing jewelry. What's the significance of that? These things have been out here for two years, scratching and clawing at us and each other. Yeah. Try putting a gold watch on a baboon for two years. Set it loose in the wild and see what happens to it. Okay, okay, I get your point. This watch looks new. Really? So? So, that means this subject has either been taking care of it, or has recently... Recently put it on. Shit, I thought they were all, you know... That shit crazy? Yeah, they are, but... Just as some late-stage dementia patients could still have moments of lucidity, victims of stage 2 virus infections seem to retain some level of vestigial memory. No oh, shit. No shit. Look at its clothes. They're... Almost clean, right? I mean, not clean, but... Most freaks...
Thanks are so caked with shit and piss. Yeah, it's disgusting. Yeah, well, again, put a pair of pants on a baboon for two years. Jesus. You ever wonder why there's so many more freaks in areas where people used to live? Never thought about it. But yeah, I guess they do. Yeah. I think there might still be something very deep in their masculine deformed heads that remembers what they once were. Jesus. Well, what it means is that some freaks get up in the morning, they shower, they get dressed, they put on their favorite gold watch, they kiss their wife goodbye, and then they head out the door for a fun day of eating us and shitting themselves. Why the hell are these guys wasting their time with this shit? <sighs> Hope you got all that, O'Brien. Okay, now just gotta get the hell out of here. O'Brien, are you there? O'Brien! What was that? Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. I planted your tracking device and I got your data. The researcher, were they male or female? What? What? Why? Was it a man or a woman? Uh, it was a woman and no, I didn't catch her name. Okay. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. Bruce, are you there? Doing, brother. Same as always. You still out there chasing choppers? Yeah. Figure out what the hell they're up to yet? Not a clue. What O'Brien told me seems legit. Nero's out here, or they're running field missions, studying the freaks. No idea why. Hey, I gotta get going. Schizo stopped by and said I'd be shoveling shit all day. Tell Schizo to eat shit. Yeah, I'll pass that along. Later. Hey, I brought you something. Wait, what the fuck? You you went up and got my bike? Well, I didn't want Cope getting it, parting it out. Jesus, Dick. Hey, I mean, I mostly did it, you know, in case I need parts. It's not like your gimp ass is gonna need them. Shit. Thanks, brother. That's the one thing I miss. Riding on the open road. Addie just wanted me to tell you that she paid some men to go get your bike and bring it back. It's over at the mechanic's shop. Oh, wait, what? You're welcome, Deke. Ricky out. Deke, we got a real problem on our hands. You remember Richard Marsden? Used to ride for us? Oh, you mean Rick the Prick Marsden, yeah. I remember him. I thought Al Kai ran him out of camp. He did. But, oh, I guess Marsden wasn't too happy about it. He joined a group of drifters down at the Black Crater, led an attack against a supply run. We lost three men. Ah, oh, shit. I never liked that son of a bitch anyway. I'll take care of him. Oh, thanks, Deke. I knew I could count on you. Like this, you deserve to die, Rick the Prick. Hey, Tuck, got you a new hat. 
<laughs> nice job. Did he put up much of a fight? So, uh, do I get paid more if he did? No. Then why do you care? Just enjoying the thought of how much the son of a bitch suffered before he bled out. Well, Jesus, Tuck, I don't do this shit for your entertainment. Ratchet Stop there. by any time. Deke, I'm really worried. Uh, Ricky, what's up? The Butler twins, Abigail and Gabby. You know them? No, but, uh, I've seen them around. What's, what's, what's going on? What's wrong? They went out fishing yesterday, and they didn't come back. Well, the lakeshore is pretty safe so long as they stay out of the marsh. That's just it. They weren't at Lost Lake. They went east over to the Metolius River. What the hell were they thinking? Okay, all right, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can find them. Deacon, thank you so much. Got it. Gotta stop moving something. It's okay. Hey, hey, hey. I'm not here to hurt you. Ricky sent me. They killed my sister. They killed Abigail. No, oh, I know. I know. I'm sorry. Uh, we just have to get you back to camp. Come on. Come on. With me. No. 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 I can make it myself. I can. Okay. Go. Go. Hey, Deacon, you got a second? How's William? I haven't seen him lately. How's Boozer? How the hell are any of us? He's surviving. Yeah, well, then he's doing better than most. Yeah. Listen, you need to keep an eye on him. What do you mean? Well, losing an arm is a big adjustment. He's given up the life he had. <sighs> Wasn't much of a life, Addy. I... You're his friend. The only one he's got. Hey, did someone pick her up? Hey, Deke, yeah, she's fine. A little traumatized, but I guess no more than anyone else. Well, I guess we all know where it's like ah! this. Yeah, I guess we do. See you, Ricky. Murderers and thieves, the body. How many people you killed today, huh? Let me get you out of there. You want to die out here? Look, there's a camp that... Yeah. Where? Where? Show me. I'll go. Head to Lost Lake. Ask for Ricky Patel. She'll take you in. I, 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 was, I was done for. Holy shit! You know? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, man. Tell him it was St. John. Deacon. They know who I am. I just keep running. Stay off the road. Hey, Boozer. How's it going? I'm having a blast. Love it here. All right. Don't work too hard. Hey, Addy, you there? Deacon. Yes, I'm here. Hey, so, uh, I, I don't think that, that he's doing so well. I, I don't know. I guess I'm really worried about him. Stop by, he seems, I don't know, angry. Look, I 
I'll keep an eye on him. I'll, I'm gonna make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. Uh, see what I can do. I don't know. Okay. That's your best bet. Right there. I don't know about that, Mike. We lost people in there before. We, lo we lost who? When? A few weeks back. Torres and Evans, looking for supplies. I told you that no, they No, were... goddammit, you didn't! I told you that we went after them, but the entrance ah. was caved in. Their bikes were outside, but the place was crawling, do you remember? I don't even know if they made it inside. What's the trouble? Ah, uh, we just... We're going over the papers, the ones from Sherman's camp. Mm -hmm. There's a mine that was getting ready to expand. Sure, and there's probably explosives stored on site. Yeah. Except now Schizo tells me we may have lost two men on the inside. Hey, I never said that, Mike. Well, look, I, just, give me the map, I'll go get the explosives, and Mike, I'll hey, people will. inside. What the hell is going you on? You may trust him, Mike, but I don't. Tell me, how much is Tucker paying for a box of TNT these you know, days, huh? Hold on, he's doing his part. Oh, really? He's doing what? Besides breaking the treaty with the Rippers, skipping work, staying out with Ricky all day, what's he been doing, huh? What you been doing, huh? Sitting on your ass while everyone does all the work. I keep this camp safe mm. from marauders, thieves, and drifters. Such knock it off. Knock it off! Hey, if you don't trust him, you go with him. Do you remember some? Both of you, remember, we are all part of the same camp. That's fine. Fine by me. In the morning, we'll take our bikes and we'll go. We'll go right now. <sighs> now. Yeah. Now, in the middle of the night. Sure. You know, it's dark out. There'll be less freaks inside the mine. Oh, that's right. Now, since you've been skipping work, you've been chasing down black choppers, and now you're some kind of freak expert. Don't need it? to be a fucking expert to know that the freaks come out at night. So okay. Oh, yeah? Come on, enough already. Okay. Okay. You want to go now? We'll go now. But I'll hold on to this. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Hey, look, he's got his issues, just like everybody else does. But he does his job. <laughs> Told that to Torres and Evans. Deke, I guess I'm just making sure he's not gonna have some kind of accident down in that mine. <sighs> Jesus, Mike, who do you think I am? I'm still trying to figure that out. See you when you get back. Son of a bitch. <laughs>